Hello, how are you? Um, I'm making a phone, a phone, a, a laptop, a, a vlog. Um, I was reading some comments on my recent phone video, so I just wanted to say hi and thank you. And some people made some videos, which I just watched, and they were very sweet and just warmed my heart. Um, and uh, so I just wanted to say thank you to them. And I was reading the comments, and some people were suggesting things like I should vlog and go to restaurants and stuff. And I, I've said this for years. I really have zero interest in vlogging or br going to. I love eating out. I don't want to sit there and film myself eating. And don't I don't want to ask people. I just it's not my personality. It's not my it's not my destiny on YouTube. It's not what I you know I enjoy doing what I do and vlogging like this and celebrity gossip and stuff. But I I literally I it, maybe people would enjoy that. But I don't know. Like I just I don't think I would enjoy that. So I can't. Um, and then somebody wrote a nice comment, a thoughtful comment about how they said something about how, you know, my videos they used to watch in 09 and when I had bought my new house and how since then things seemed forced or something. And I can't not agree in a way only because, like I said, YouTube has changed so much. And, you know, it's funny when something you start out in 06 and you have no idea what it is. And then in 07, it's your whole life. And then in 08, you leave your job and then you're making a living doing it. Um, and so, I mean, I've been doing this as a, as a career for four years, so in a way, there is something about it that is forced and not as natural, so I, 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 but I would like to be better at feeling more, like, not so, you know, I don't, I don't have any, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think I can, I think I can take that comment and do, and make my YouTube experience more, more organic or more natural. I think some of my best videos in the last couple of years, maybe even was like some of the Kardashian rants where I didn't think, you know, like overthink. I just kind of turned on the camera and spoke. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, so I mean, I do have the conflict that I've had always in that I don't wish to chronicle my real life without being a little scripted or controlled of it. Um, and my husband does not want to be on camera and I really do not wish to subject him to vlogging. Um, and like I said, I don't, I don't want to eat in public and hold a camera up. I live in Connecticut. It's not that cute. Like if I, I would just, I would just, it's not something I'm comfortable doing. It just is. Yeah. Every time I've done it, I just felt like embarrassed and like, okay, I'm going to do this quick and then bye. Um, but if I believe me, if I ever feel comfortable, I will turn on the camera and I will do it. Um, I don't know. I'm glad I still have a piece of myself though. I do feel like I do. I haven't, I've given, I've given my heart and soul, but I haven't given my entire self over because I, I don't know, like, I feel like that's, that's a lot to give. Like, I respect people who do that, but I still feel like it feeling in complete control of my persona and my presence on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, and I'm older too. I just don't think it's that, you know, when you're young and fun and going to concerts and doing fun things with 20-somethings, it's more like, at my age, honestly, to chronicle my life, you would see me, you know, playing with my dogs and napping and writing what the buck. Um, but, I, yeah, I need to get out and do When I do the videos with Dan, those are fun, but I feel those are very controlled. Like, it's not like it's, you know, he's filming it and it's very, it feels controlled, which I like. I don't know. Maybe I need to be open to new ideas. I'm, believe me, I'm open. I'm figuring things out as we go. Um, and I, um, hmm, yeah. Anyway, so to, oh, you know what I was going to talk about today? What I'm terrible at in life that it's 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 such a it's such a weird thing to be. Te I'm terrible at knowing how long things are going to take me to do. Like I will make my list of things to do for the day to look feel productive, and I'll be like for an hour clean your closet, and then it takes me like two days. Like I'll write from eleven thirty to twelve thirty clean closet, and then it takes me two days to clean my closet. Like I'm terrible. Like or like today I'm like edit till one fifteen, and like I, I want to be done. Like at one fifteen, be done, and I'll still be editing at three and be like I didn't plan this right. Like I didn't budget. I didn't budget enough time. That's something I don't know. Like I have a, a false sense of how speedy I can get things done. But I I also think I have a post it that I wrote to myself. I wrote. Stop wasting time thinking of what you need to do. Just do it. Because I spend so much time thinking or sitting for like two hours and thinking, oh, this is what I have to do. And it's like, just shut up and stop your mind and just do things, you know, be productive with your life. So that's like, I'm trying to do that. Think less, do more. All right, I'm done rambling. Again, thoughts not meant for the world, but if you're watching this channel, hello. I'm working on the buck right now, and it's really funny. I've enjoyed, I, I, uh, I sang a little at the end, which I always enjoy singing. And, um, okay, so I'm going to go edit. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Sorry for rambling. No, I'm not sorry for rambling. It's fun. Thanks for listening. Bye.